coming to uh, Irish Invasion, the 2026 guys, is there anyone that um, kind of catches your eye, you're monitoring as the, uh, as you know, as, as we get through the camp, Christian's going to be there. Matt's going to be there. Um, who do you want to hear about? Uh, well, okay. Here's some guys that I think that, well, okay. First I want to read, there's a 2025 offer who's going to be there that I don't know if people really kind of, um, you know, he hasn't really kind of been on the radar, which, and, you know, I think people kind of think the board is the board, mm -hmm. but, um, Dalen Penson, who is yeah. like a 5'10", 160, he's undersized, right? Uh, he, you know, he got an offer after he just had like an absolutely just electric, you know, uh, testing at, uh, camp and you, you watch his film and the guy is just like, I mean, he's, he's lightning in a bottle. He's mm -hmm. just pure speed. Um, and he's like a, he's a four, four kid, like legit four, four 36 inch vertical. He is an like all caps elite athlete. I don't know what position he is. Uh, he maybe is a kind of like Dylan Edwards type where you're like, mm. maybe he's uh, on offense, but maybe he's a DB. I mean, his DB film is pretty good. Uh, you know, he measured in like verified 510. So that's something, but like, it's good. He's, I mean, he's going to be interesting. I guess, cause, cause if, I mean, whatever he tests, like he's going to just blow everybody away. That is going to be something. So, but obviously they're going to look at him and see how he works out and see how he moves and all that. And, you know, it's one of those ones where it's like he's got an offer and they're working them out. And but if they really, really like him, this is like where they push for him. And yeah, they do it. So um, that's something to monitor. Uh, Benjamin Novak, because there's going to have these other, um, you know, 2025 commits working out on the defensive line. So you're going to get a good look at these 2026 off offensive linemen. So, yeah, Benjamin Novak, 6'6", 328 you know, from it, he goes to Andrian, uh, you know, in, in Indiana, you know, he's got some power five offers, he's got, you know, Purdue, Louisville, Indiana, or his power five offers right now, mm -hmm. but that's a guy to monitor because like, I mean, if he looks good moving at that weight and he can competes well at the scamp, that could be potential to be a guy. Uh, Rico Schreiber, he's a kid of, out of Marist in Chicago, six, six or six, seven, three thirty. Like the Miami, Nebraska, you know, Vandy, Iowa State, Kansas, BC, like that's another guy to, to watch. Um, King Liggins, first of all, these guys, I mean, how do these guys props to their parents? Just, just being like King Liggins, bro. King, Let's just King Liggins, it's like this guy's guaranteed D1, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, but, uh, yeah, anyways, he's got an Iowa State and a Kansas State offer, and he's from Illinois always intriguing when you're like, Oh, they're kind of going in there. I think Iowa state obviously does a really good job of evaluating kids. Uh, six, four, two sixty five D tackle out of brother rice. Uh, it, you know, that is, is a guy to watch. Um, I think, uh, Braylon Womack is a guy with the best offer list, probably out of all the guys who don't have an offer. Yeah. Um, yeah Michael, oh, asked sorry, Michael asked he's about him. He's a five star. Yeah. He's a big time guy. So he's, yes, he's they'll be giving him an offer, you know, <laughs> like unless he's like there and he is like a kid who just shows no interest or he's like, I'm going to show up and I'm not going to work out, which I don't think is going to happen. Right. He's getting an offer. And, uh, you know, this could be the start of like a, you know, a big recruitment for him. And obviously, too, I think that getting those guys on campus to work out for you um, is just, there's a connection that can be built there mm -hmm. that, and there's something that um, with Brian Kelly staff, they did get a lot of these guys to show up at some of these Irish invasions who were like this level, but didn't always work out. Yeah. You know? And I mean, there, there was the occasional Amon Ross St. Brown who worked out, but not, too many of these other guys that were really, really top, top tier guys. So when you get a guy like that and he actually doesn't work out and you get to coach him and stuff like that, like, I think that could be, you know, 
the start of something good. That's why I think it's a big deal that Deuce is working out, you know, because it's like you, you get that thing. Like, no, you come here, you work out, right? That's I'm not. We're not just coming to to play, you know, play visit or whatever. Like, we're working out. We're we're, we're putting in the work and we're competing out here. So that's good. Um, I like that. Uh, the Braylon Womack thing, yeah, for sure. Like, just uh, y- y- he's got to like it, right? But you got to get him on campus and you got to get your shot there. Um, and that's a big deal. Uh, Rajon's asking for your.